Today we're going to show you how to open up the Bunker Pro so you can replace or upgrade your battery. It's very simple. There's actually just the top shell on here that needs to be taken off. Then underneath is a metal plate that also is taken off. The tools you'll need to replace a battery are a five millimeter hex wrench. Uh, we recommend getting something like this, a T-wrench that's easy to hold on to and work with. You're gonna need a 2.5 millimeter for the bolts that are inside the rails. And then you're gonna need a 13 millimeter flat wrench and a 13 millimeter ratchet is helpful as well. And these are for the nuts. They're all 13 millimeter nuts. The flat wrench is helpful for getting into these corners. And then the ratchet is helpful for when you get to the under plate and there's a lot of bolts along on the sides. Another thing to pay attention to is there are different bolt lengths in different places. So it's good to have some bins and keep track of your lengths and which holes they go into so that when you put it back together, you've got everything in the right place. So in order to take the top shell off, you've got three bolts on both sides of the robot. You've got two bolts in each corner, front and back. You've got three in the center, and then you actually do have to take the bolts for the rails off because those go down into the second plate. Once you've gotten the shell off, you can see that there's a metal plate on top, so the next part is to take that off. It's fairly simple. It's just a little time consuming because there are actually 30 bolts all the way around here uh, to hold it down, and that's what keeps everything sealed inside and watertight. Once you have all of your bolts out, you can go ahead and lift this top plate off to get to the inside of the robot. And so you can see inside, here's the beast of the battery. It does have one more bracket to take off, and that has two posts on either side, and you just remove these nuts, and then you can lift the battery out and unplug the cable from the front. So once you've taken the nuts off, you can go ahead and lift your bracket off. There'll be a piece of rubber here. And then using the handles, you can lift the battery out. Set it on top. You can see that we have this very beefy cable to run all of our juice. And you're just gonna go ahead and pull that off. And now your battery is taken out and you can put the new one in. So when you're ready to put your new battery in, easiest way to do it is stage it on top of the chassis and go ahead and plug in your cable. And note that your cable is at the front of the robot, the front side of the chassis. So it's good to have a person help you hold it out of the way Pick up the battery by the handles, slide it down into the chassis. Then go ahead and run your cable around to the side so it's out of the way. You're gonna put your piece of rubber back on the front lip. And then you're gonna place your bracket back on. When you bolt your bracket on, you wanna make sure that the bracket is pushed against the battery as tight as it can be. Then you go ahead and put your nuts back onto the posts. Once you've got your battery in, you're just gonna reverse your steps with putting everything back on. You obviously have to have your bracket on for the battery, which we talked about. Then you're gonna put the metal plate on, and then you're gonna put the shell on. The metal plate does have polarity. There is a front and a back, so make sure that lines up. It'll be pre pretty obvious because the holes have to line up. Do pay attention to the fact that you have the button head bolts which go on the corners. And you have flat head bolts that go down the sides. And once that's mounted on, you're gonna go ahead and put the shell back on, and then you're gonna put the top on. Okay, we're getting ready to mount the shell back on top. Uh, one thing to note is that it's much easier if you put the side bolts in first before you put the top bolts on. And that's because this can sag and then you have trouble lining these up. So it's much easier to start with those. And of course, pay attention to your lengths. If you put your bolts in the trays and paid attention to them taking it apart, it's a whole lot easier to put it back together.